In our training program that you'll be attending in the next few days, we're going to talk to you about those five steps. And they are simply design stage, planning stage, implementation, monitoring how your project's going, and reviewing and evaluation what you've achieved. So I'm just going to do a very quick overview of what's involved in each of those steps. Firstly, the design stage. This is the most exciting part, I think, of developing a project. It's where your creative juices get going and you can think about the whole concept of your project. Why is your project needed? What's the evidence that you should be going down this track? What are you going to be trying to achieve? Who are your stakeholders? You know, that's other people who are interested in what your project might do. Who needs to be involved in delivery? What kind of activities will be undertaken through your project? What's the approximate timing? What's the approximate budget? And how will your project be managed? For example, do you need to have a steering committee, project manager, and someone in your organisation to support your project and be your project champion and advocate? That's the first stage, and that's a really, really important stage. It's where you get the buy-in from your organisation, from your managers, and often from a funding body as to why your project should be supported and funded. During that design stage, you'll have a simple document that describes basically what your project is going to do, including all of those elements. The second stage gets into a bit more detail. That's our planning stage. This requires you to think about specifically what activities are going to happen, who's responsible for carrying out those activities, what's the timing, and what expected outcomes. That's a fairly detailed document, but it's a very important document because it will help guide you through the implementation phase. The third stage, of course, is implementation, and that's where all the fun begins for you as a program manager because you can start to see how things are doing. The plan will help guide you on a weekly basis, monthly basis, about what needs to happen, enable you to identify who's not doing their work or who is doing their work and to track accordingly. So that's fun. This is where you're actually delivering your program to your clients um, and to your patients, for example. We call the fourth stage monitoring, but in fact this is something that happens while you're doing implementation. It's a really important phase for you to be tracking how things are going, using some standard progress reports and reporting templates to inform your stakeholders, your funding bodies, perhaps your manager, even the people who are participating in your programs, what's being achieved according to your plan. It's a very important phase because it also enables you to catch any slippage in your project before it takes the whole project off track. So you can look where things are going right and make some corrective action as you need to before the project comes to an end. And the final step, step five, is where we do some formal review and evaluation. This is really where you, you come to the point of looking at all the data and information that you've collected during your implementation phase and see whether your project's achieved what you, you wanted it to achieve. This can involve some program participant data, looking at that, some satisfaction, information from your participants and clients, and generally stakeholders as well, and really look at have we achieved what we meant to achieve, what worked for us, what are the lessons that we've learned from doing this project, and if we were to do it again in the future or replicate it in the future, what kinds of things would we change? And of course, when you look at these five steps, it's really about continuous improvement. It's about planning and doing and reviewing and taking those lessons and re-looking at your project for your design for the next stage of the project, whether that's because it's refunded or it's replicated somewhere else. And there are the five key steps for project management. And during our training program, we're going to cover all of those and what you need to do in each of those steps. Now Karen's worked for many, many organisations across the state and Australia, 
looking at how effective programs and projects are. So she's going to just go through some simple things about one of the critical factors in successful project management from her own experience.